hello and welcome back to my channel my name is Colleen and today we're doing a tag because it's tag Tuesday and today I'm doing the A to Z book tag and I'll leave the creator and such linked down below so let's just start off at the beginning so the first question is an author you've read the most books from and for me that's Tamora Pierce I have read 23 of her books uh, this is one of my favorites so yeah she's a great I like her a lot then B is best sequel ever and for that I have chosen The Light Fantastic by Terry Pratchett. I think this is probably one of my favorite Discworld nov novels uh, and it's mostly because of the hydrophobes. I think that that's a hilarious magical thing and it's great. Then C is for currently reading. I'm currently reading Mansfield Park by Jane Austen and I have many mixed feelings about it. Yeah. D is drink of choice while reading. For me, that's water. Most people would have said tea, but I recently gave up all caffeine. By recently, I'm in like almost six months ago. So I drink just water. E is e-reader or physical book. For me, it's a physical book. I don't own an e-reader. I haven't read any books in that format. F is for a fictional character you probably would have dated in high school. For me, that's Cleon from Tamora Pierce's Protector of the Small series. I can guarantee you I would have dated him in high school because I read these books going into high school and I wanted to date him. I don't remember what series it's from anymore, but there was a character named Callum in one of the book series that I read and I also would have dated him. G is for Glad You Gave This Book a Chance. And for me, that's A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. I bought this on sale shortly after it came out from Chapters and then it sat on my shelf for probably, I don't know, 10 years. Let's see, 2011. So like seven years, but I did really enjoy this and I am glad that I gave it a chance. I is important moment in your reading life and for me that was when I was at Cool Harbor Library and my dad suggested to me that I read The Hobbit. I have read this book six or seven times now and it's definitely one of my favorites and it really changed my reading life a lot and helped me bond with my dad. J is for just finished and for me that is Silence of the Lambs by Thomas Harris. I finished this on the weekend and I absolutely loved it. L is for a longest book you've read and by a little bit of a landslide that is Alexander Dumas Count of Monte Cristo which I just finished in September or August in August I just finished this in August so it is a whopping well there's a whopping 1270 something pages in here but the story itself 1243 pages so that's a lot and it's also larger than the other books that were on that list which were all A Song of Ice and Fire which have similar lengths but are in a mass market paperback form so actually a lot less words. Major book Hangover is for M and that was A Natural History of Dragons a memoir by Lady Trent by Marie Brennan and I got a very bad book Hangover after I read this book luckily I had the next book in the series on my shelf already so it didn't last too too long but yeah, this series gave me a large book hangover. N is for number of bookcases you own. I own five bookcases. I have one over there, one right here, the one behind me, one over there. Ooh, I forgot one. Six, seven. Moving on. O is for one book you have read multiple times. And for that, I have chosen a series because I have read all of these books multiple times, three times, in fact. And that is The Chronicles of Pieden. This is a middle grade high fantasy series. And it is one of my favorites. It's by Lloyd Alexander, who is, of course, one of my favorite authors. And nothing but good things to say about that series. P is for preferred place to read. And my preferred place to read is in my living room with my dog. Q is quotes that inspire you or give you all the feels from a book you've read. And for me, this was hard. I just kind of chose like one of the top quotes from my Goodreads. And uh, the quote I have chosen is, you know what they say, when people start burning books, they'll soon start soon burn human beings. And that's from Inkheart by Cornelia Funk, which is one of my favorite books. R is for reading regret. And I regret any of the books that I have unhauled. 
so uh, most recently a library at Mount Shard and uh, the light between oceans S is for a series you started and need to finish where all the books are out and of course for me that is the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan so I really want to finish this series this year and hopefully I can do it I mean that's really ambitious because all the books are probably about this big and I have like 12 left to read but that's fine T is for three of your all-time favorite books for that I'm gonna go with The Hobbit Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and let's go with Going Bovine by Libba Bray I really do enjoy that book U is for unapologetic fangirl. I'm an unapologetic fangirl of Cozy Mysteries. I have selected The Murder of a Sleeping Beauty by Denise Swanson to represent Cozy Mysteries. This is from the first Cozy Mystery series that I read, but it's not the first Cozy I read, but I love the Some Cozy Mysteries. V is for very excited for this release more than any of the others. And I don't really read a lot of new releases, so for me it's a tie between King of Harps by Juliette Merlier and Turning Darkness into Light by Marie Brennan. Those are both of the ones that I'm very excited for. W is for Worst worst Bookish Habit. And I think my worst bookish, ha bush, bookish habit is that I don't vacuum my shelves as much as I do. They are quite dusty right now. Um, but like I don't dog ear, I don't break spines, so I don't know. Or my worst book of habit is like buying new books when I don't need to. X marks the spot. Uh, start at the top of your left shelf and pick the 27th book. So I chose for my leftmost shelf, which is over there, and the 27th book on that shelf was Sabriel by Garth Nix. This is one of my favorite books and I do love it a lot. Why is for your latest book purchase? And my latest book purchase was A Red Herring Without Mustard by Alan Bradley. This is the third book in the Flavia series and I hope to get to that soon. And Z is for Z Snatcher. Last book that kept you up way late. And for me, I haven't been really staying up reading a lot lately but I did read Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo in a day and I did stay up till 11.56 reading it so I guess that's that. Thank you so much for joining me on this Tag Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed it. I just realized that I ha because I filmed this in two different segments because my battery died before I wasn't wearing a sweater and now I'm wearing a sweater so sorry about that but yeah I'll see you next Tuesday for a new tag.